when you think about it, the whole COVID thing, like it really, I think has like increased distrust in institutions among people so much in the fact that like people still have to wear a fucking mask to go in McDonald's and all this shit. Like, you know, like I think a lot of it is kind of bullshit. Like people are just basically being like fed misinformation and stuff for sure. But then at the same time, I do feel like the average person is being like slowly radicalized to not trust the government on anything Dude, because uncles the are messaging getting real has, radicalized. Yes, because the messaging has been so unclear and now it's like, okay, yeah. here's this thing. I feel like the messaging has been so bad that that's why it's like hard to get so many people to get vaccinated because they've just done such a bad job of putting it out into there. I know you probably think that like the vaccine will kill you and everything, but no, I'm not, I'm not into any of that no? stuff. No, you're not into that. No, you draw the line there. No, I. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just. Do you know what the the thing is? I feel like I've fairly like reasonable, like centrist takes on things. I do too. Yeah, it's I just feel like, like you're supposed you too, to. Yeah. It's like the what you're supposed to think is so crazy. I, I agree with you that. The reason why people are so jazzed up mm. on all the like vaccine stuff is that it's like there's also this other part where they the the media kind of said, hey, if you don't take the vaccine, you're right wing as a tactic to right. make people do it. But for half the country, they're like, oh, then I guess I don't take it because, yeah, I'm right wing. Right. Like half yeah. the, that's not an insult if you say it to someone in you know, works in a steel mill in Pittsburgh. Like that's actually positive for him. Or like, okay, dude, with the mandates and stuff, that shit's pretty crazy because I, I have maybe 10 full-time employees in here on a regular basis. If I had 10 times as many employees, so if I had a hundred employees, then I would have to fire any of them who don't get vaccinated really? yeah. within like a couple weeks. Like, but this town that, is that great. Begins. I mean, everyone has crazy. fakes. Like. <laughs> that's true. And I'm not really sure. Like is any, well, a lot of my employees have fake vaccine cards for sure. But like, uh, <laughs> if I'm just snitching on them left and right, but I mean, I would be like really offended and upset like that. Like even for me, it was somebody who's very pro vaccine. I mean, that right there would maybe be enough for me to be like, I'm going full fuck you to the government. If I had to, lay yeah, off 40 people thing, because yeah. of the vaccine thing you know and i could encourage them to get vaccinated but i mean at the end of the day like fucking how much do i really want to be involved in that in my employees personal lives like that you know yeah but, everyone has their like spot where they're kind of like wait a second these people are lying to me aren't they yeah like okay i think that is a little too much of like me demanding medical records from everybody who works for me that is something i'm not really sure if i'm trying to get down with dude yeah yeah i have i get it from both sides where it's People let that um, people are getting mad at me for like kind of being reckless during COVID. Mm. Like we were doing shows, we were kind of touring early. Um, I was still doing like videos on the street and stuff like that, and I was getting a lot of pushback. Even people wrote there's articles written stuff like that, and with pretty funny quotes. That's like, a big thing for a while. Nope, boys got their entire YouTube channel demonetized yeah. and probably lost out on millions of dollars because of the fact that they were going and doing crazy <laughs> parties at schools during COVID, like early. Exactly. Yeah. And then I get it from the other side where people go, hey, you shouldn't be touring in Toronto because they have vaccine requirements or you shouldn't be touring here. Like, mm. But you're vaccinated. That's correct. But if I would go, I'm not going to... But people, Everyone just wants you to be an activist for what they think. That's mm. the bottom line. I'm like, dude, I didn't like get into comedy to be an activist like it's yeah. just not what i do the vaccines brand needs work because like right now when somebody says like you're vaccinated i kind of expect the next thing out of your mouth to be like and you suck dick and you're like you, you have no respect <laughs> for your parents it's like really like it's just like it's got like a sissy ass image at this point and it's like but, and they know. think that's positive they, yeah. that's what i'm saying they're pitching this like hey don't you want to be like us and you're kind of like <laughs> not really that's why jj had to go back out of the closet yeah. or back to in the closet on, to they be go, honest they go hey gay guys we're all vaccinated you don't think the vaccine had something to do with nope. you being gay <laughs> no the, <laughs> one of the vaccines <laughs> no, no. did JJ. my mother was a whore Early that's on. what it had to do she was pregnant <laughs> with me sucking other men's dicks my dad, <laughs> my dad told me no but this town is crazy because everyone's vaccinated and it's so fucking locked down still yeah. i don't get this city yeah everybody who had their fucking businesses ruined and stuff are not exactly becoming like advocates for vaccine mandates. but even now like just going around the streets i'm like this city is like and i'm like again i'm pro vaccine i'm pro like be healthy but this city's been pussified yeah 
I'd say L.A. is the most places where, because everywhere else I, I feel like I go, they have all the requirements, but then like no one does it any of it. Yeah. Whereas L.A. is the first place where I walk into a Starbucks and there's like two baristas being like, hey, you want a mask? Show me. Your, and you go, whoa. You've had that happen? You have to like show the vaccine I'm in card West just Hollywood. to walk in? No, not the vaccine card at oh, West okay. Hollywood. But I've been asked. I, at the start, I, everywhere else, like yeah. restaurants, to be on a patio. But I did have a... Uh, I saw the kind of person you're talking to when I was in line at Starbucks and the person comes up and they're like, hey, who, who do I show this to? And the person's uh-huh. like, you don't have to do that. And he's like, <laughs> he's like can I? <laughs> yeah, like that, that's one thing. I've realized yeah, that. fucking in the queue, dude. He when, went, when, shut up. When you're pulling up to something, whether it's a club or a concert or a party or whatever, and you hear like, oh, they have this vaccine requirement, nobody gives a fuck. You have to be able to present something that's enough for them to like <laughs> yeah, yeah. be able to this have, isn't like, crayon plausible. you're pushing it <laughs> yeah yeah if you have a, ca- a piece of cardboard with vaccine written in crayon <laughs> they might not let you in but anything besides that they're pretty like nobody is so invested in this it's not like you're gonna get 10 years in jail if you let somebody into this bar with a fake vaccine card and yeah. so it's kind of like where where are you really gonna draw but the line? Th- this 